to my channel. It is Jess here, yes. We are standing today, yeah. I feel very expressionate today. And yeah, I can express with my hands way more dramatically and make my edits way more choppy. <laughs> Like, I just feel very hyped up and energetic. And that's how I've been feeling lately. And it's been feeling so magical and amazing. And I love it. And I just like, mmm, 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 mm, mm. right. <laughs> Okay, let me adjust. Let me check my hair. Hair is everywhere. Okay, so I think we're good to go, right? Oh, oh, what's that? Let me take these out. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right. So this channel, my YouTube channel, what I like to talk about is documenting my no alcohol drinking challenge and journey. It pretty much is a journey because the challenge is a year, but I plan on not drinking after this year challenge because I think and feel that a year is well long enough for me to understand that like, wow, how much alcohol had been holding me back. It's October now and I started at the beginning of this year. So it's been about 10 months and seriously, ah, <laughs> like the way that I feel <laughs> is so magical and amazing. I'm enjoying every aspect of my life. That's work, that's friends, that's family, that's me living, waking up, drinking coffee, just being me, walking around, doing my thing. I feel and I'm enjoying every aspect of it because I feel like it has really brought me more in the present moment and in tune with my body, in tune with the world and the clarity. Wow. I cannot express enough the clarity that I feel. And when you have clarity, it really, really opens your eyes to the world. The beauty that is around always helps you just open your eyes and you're like, oh yeah, I really, really feel that all of this is just, why have I not been appreciating it? Why have I not been grateful all this time? And when I was drinking, holy crap, like <laughs> I, did not appreciate it. I didn't appreciate my life. I didn't appreciate anything around me. I was identifying myself outside of myself. I was just not within me, like expressing out. I was looking out, trying to find and fill the void. And holy cow, when I stopped feeding that energy, I stopped running away from myself. I stopped masking myself with the alcohol. Alcohol definitely depressed me down and it, and I didn't want to think about life. I didn't want to live. I didn't want to, all of these things. Like, like there was some moments where, when I was so beyond drunk <laughs> that I didn't want to live. And I remember, oh God, it's, it's like embarrassing, but it's like, I remember those moments where I was just so unhappy and I was so angry because it's like, I don't know why we're here. I don't know why I'm in this body. It's like, it doesn't matter why I'm like, I don't know why I even want to live. I don't even want to be here. I'm so upset. Like, this is just all awful. It's all awfulness. I'm throwing shit on the ground and I'm just having like a tantrum and it's just like all of these things. And you know what? <sighs> I am not that girl anymore. And it feels amazing. It feels so amazing. I did not know in the moment how beautiful life and living and being on this planet really is. All of the friends and all of the family, everyone, all of you guys that are supporting me and there for me, like energetically, like you can feel even the beings that surround you that you can't even see, everyone is supporting you. Like we are supported and we are protected and it's the most beautiful thing ever. And I was not living in clarity. I could not see it because I was so engulfed in my own shit. I could not see it. I couldn't see the beauty. I couldn't feel it. 
I was so angry and upset with myself. And you have to think, it all starts with your body. It all starts with your body. So if you're ingesting toxins and all of this low vibrational things, then you are going to attune your body to the lower frequency. And that's what I did for the longest time. It was a push-pull thing. I would quit, then I would drink, and then I would quit, and then I would drink, and then I would quit, and then I would drink, and then I would try to justify it being like, oh, it's okay. Uh, I can only have a couple, you know, it's fine. I can have a couple beers or whatever. And then I would have a couple beers and then I would have a few more and it slowly crept up again. And it was just a cycle that kept going like this. Like I was fighting against myself. I was like this tug of war match. I finally had to put my foot down and it's like, you know what? This is very immature of me and I'm done. I'm done with that older version of myself. I do not identify with her anymore. I am so grateful for that older version of me because she got me to where I am today. And she did the best that she could. And she did enjoy the little things. Yeah, there are good things. Good things did happen and she learned a lot. And I'm still learning. It's amazing. What really helped me in the beginning is I would uh, set an intention and I used a lot of water in this process. So I took a bath and I really just, in the beginning, because it's, you still have that toxin, you know, the toxicity in your body, it's still in, in you and you still got those cravings or whatever. But what really helped me this time was just taking a nice Epsom salt bath, just kind of cleansing. And I just literally set an intent into the water and, I'm, and I just kind of, you know, said the gratitude to the older version of me, but I, I said, I am no longer that girl anymore. And when I unplug this drain, she is going to go down the water and be drained out. And then this newer, higher version, higher vibrational version of me is coming in once the older version of me is drained out. And I just, you know, had my hands in the water and I just watched it drain down until there was no more water left. And it was very beautiful and it was emotional. And, you know, I didn't expect to cry, but it really, <laughs> she did get me to where I am today and just even feeling those feelings of loneliness and heartbreak and you feel like there's no one around and it's only you it's it is a tough feeling it is a tough feeling and sometimes when you do drink it, it tempor temporarily relieves those feelings but it's it was only temporary. And just to let you guys know, how I feel right now is amazing and it's beautiful. And I am loving in this loving energy of the world around me and the people around me. It's beautiful and it's magical. And I'm enjoying my life. I'm enjoying every aspect of it. And it's, I cannot express how beautiful it is. <sighs> and how happy I am to be where I am now. But it, 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 I do feel for that older version of myself. She did the best that she could. You know, I just had to understand that she did the best that she could. And it's just beautiful how you blossom up and out of it and move beyond when you actually start respecting yourself and you're self-caring. You start caring for yourself. You know, you stop people pleasing and trying to make everybody else happy. And that's a huge thing when, you, when you're trying to make everybody else happy, you forget to care for yourself. Excuse me. I do want to note also that it was really, really hard to let that older version of myself go because I had this immense amount of love for her. And it was really hard to detach. I had been living in this version for so long and it got comfortable 
and I got used to it and it was cozy. It was a, you know, almost like a security feeling, like it's comfortable here. And it was tremendously hard to let her go, but it was time and I was ready to. I really just wanted to note that real quick, guys, because I had to learn to detach from that older version of myself so I could allow room for the newer version of me and who I am today. So, yes. Back to the video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm back. <sighs> when you start respecting yourself and you start living for yourself and you start doing the things that you believe in and you start living authentically and you stop that outer exterior trying to feed the void and being in those emotions that just seem like you're drowning. Like it literally feels like you're drowning when you're not focusing within yourself and appreciating and being grateful for for yourself. I was so angry because I didn't understand why we're here on earth. How is it possible? All of these things. But I've come to accept that fact and just simply enjoy expressing my human being, my essence of my soul, and just being with this planet and my body and me and loving myself. It's, it's a beautiful feeling and it's amazing and it's just, <laughs> I've come so far in a little amount of time, 10 months, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> so much that I have learned, so much. And alcohol seriously, seriously diminished my whole entire being and my essence. <sighs> but it's so beautiful to come out of that and to be the woman I am today. I'm truly, truly 100% happy. I'm listening to myself. I'm listening to my needs. I'm listening to what it is that I resonate and don't resonate with. And I've strengthened myself and my aura and my being around me and I realize a lot of things that you know we have to protect our energy and live for ourselves and it's not selfish at all to live for yourself and do what you feel is right what you feel is right is true for you and you have to protect that and hold on to that because that is what's going to make you soar. You're going to soar so high, like you've never flown so high before in this frequency vibe of just the beauty and bliss and the essence of love surrounding you. Like to feel that wholeness and love and to quit searching outside of yourself. Stop identifying yourself with exterior things. These exterior things are temporary. They're so temporary. It all is temporary because we're continuing to move forward. We're continually to grow and expand. And alcohol was not helping me expand. It stunted myself from expanding. I was staying stagnant in this stagnant energy. And what that did was this stagnant energy just kept mulling around, kept mulling around, but it got denser and heavier. And it eventually just kind of started to pull me down even more until I had this flip of a switch where I was like, no more, no more. No more am I going to allow this behavior. It's almost disciplining. Oh, it's not okay to always just brush things away and push it away. Some sort of structure. Structure is amazing and it's beautiful. And it's not a hard thing to do to respect yourself. And sometimes saying no is respecting yourself. And it's beautiful. To be on this journey is amazing. And I'm so, so grateful that I can share it with you all and that you're here along with me. And you all are helping me, holding me accountable. <laughs> it is amazing because we're co-creating together and it's beautiful because it is a support system. Like it really is. This is why I am creating this Facebook group because I do want you all, all of you 
to connect together, and to get to know each other simply, to make friendships, to support each other, to be vulnerable and share your story. Because it is like a weight being lifted, lifted up off of you. Just learning about yourself simply, your true authentic nature, living in that vibration, it is seriously the most beautiful vibration you could ever feel. And it's beautiful. It's amazing. <laughs> Ah! Okay. I do have a podcast. If you care to listen to that, you can find me on Spotify, Breaker, Google Podcasts, and Radio Public. I am I'm really working on my consistency with my videos and my podcast. It's really good because it's like I'm starting to create more of a structure. It's almost freeing in a way because sometimes I get really worried about time. Like, oh, I don't have enough time to do this. Oh, I don't have enough time to do that. And I'd get overwhelmed because I felt like there's all these things. But when you kind of put an ad structure to it, it helps because it's like, oh, I have a plot of time and only takes me this long to do this. And then I can enjoy the rest of my time. It's less overwhelming when there's some sort of structure, but when you're just everywhere and your energy is everywhere, it gets overwhelming and then you end up not doing it. I'm enjoying all of this process. I love that all of you are subscribing. I see you. I see you all and I love it. I just, I just absolutely love it and thank you for being here along this journey with me and I am sending you all of the love and light. I can possibly send. It is an open channel and I'm sending it to you all so please just benefit from that. Thank you for being here and I love you guys so much. Bye. So I'm in the dark and I'm editing my video. Every time I edit this video and it hits like the crying scene where I, I literally break down out of nowhere un unexpectedly. Every time that gets to that part, I get emotional again. Holy freaking cow. <laughs> what a release, guys. What a beautiful, beautiful release. And I just want to say how beautiful I feel and how much love I have for myself. And I never thought this would ever be possible to fall in love with yourself. I'd be so happy with the woman that you've become, with the being that you've become. And all the challenges and obstacles it's taken, it's just amazing. I just had to share with that with you guys.